Hi guys. Hey everyone. Welcome to Make 2 and episode 4 of our Let's Play in Minecraft Beautiful Mesa Biome. <laughs> Here we are, the sun is rising oh so fast and I've been doing a bunch more mining and collecting of stuff because... You know, though I love my safe little hole, we can't stay here forever. I'm noticing you have a compass. I have a compass. I also have a clock, which is the thing next to a compass. Oh, sweet. And I'm going to show you my... Well, I think I've basically put everything I want on me into my inventory. And these are all my treasures. I found 26 diamonds. I found 12 in the last episode. And I found an extra 14, which was amazing, just in that same mine. You are a boss. Uh, well, I don't know. <laughs> I have a bunch of iron, some gold, and some coal. Eventually found some coal. And you remember that lava we saw last time? Uh -huh. That lava lake. I got some lava so I could actually cook some stuff. Wait, did we show the lava in the episode? You know, we saw the lava lake just way that off in the distance. That was far away. And you trekked over there? Yeah, and... yeah. I got some fish. Yeah. Uh, got a bunch of redstone and I'm ready to start making stuff. Now I had a long debate with myself and looked up online. What should I use for my armor? And... Yeah, buddy. No. Oh, no? Uh, people say like it doesn't make a huge difference and uh, iron's good enough. I do need a diamond... Pickaxe. Pickaxe. And I thought, a, oops, a diamond sword would be good as well. Sure. Because uh, I die so easy if i had a diamond <laughs> sword maybe eight would hit better i just hope we don't fall in another ravine <laughs> i'm like a the pessimist on a these travels. agreed yeah but i am going to make some armor out of iron so i think i should be able to have a full suit of armor and i just need to remember how to do it i think if we do that 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 and then Got some pantaloons, yeah. <laughs> and I think for the hat, is it something like this? Yeah. Okay, and now we just need the breastplate, which is this maybe. Okay, so here is all our armor. I've now got to put the armor on myself, which um, I don't know if I know how to do. Oh, here, <laughs> here, we, here we do. Put that on there. Crucial. Yeah. Oh, so cute. So hopefully I'm now going to be really protected. And Wait, can you get like different skins for your little man there? I think so, yeah. I mean, I don't really look at myself very much. Mm. Look how he moves around. Wee. Yeah, I guess we're not playing on multiplayer yeah, either. Which we're not. People have asked us, but it's because we don't have the capability of recording two games at once. So like we wouldn't really benefit from playing multiplayer. Yeah. And also because I really suck. So... If we played multiplayer, it would just be me dying mm -hmm. and you having to, like, wait for me to not mess up the game again. <laughs> okay. What is that? I made a second compass, so I've only got a few iron. I've got loads more diamonds. Maybe I should have made some diamond armor. And I've decided to make a map because... Okay. People say it should be able to help me track where I'm going. <laughs> I don't need the paper. So let's just... So this is all the stuff that I'm not taking with me. Ooh, what's that little uh, potion there? That's just a water, water bottle. bottle. It's okay. like, well, it would be nice. This bowl would be nice. Leather, the saddle would be cool. But I've got to try and go lean. So I had stuff for building my little towers at night because I still don't have enough string. I haven't found any wool yet. But what if you come across a horse and you want to ride the horse? I know. I don't... Fine, take, the take, saddle, the take the saddle. Take the saddle. I'm not going to take the lily pad. Nah. Is there anything else? I should probably make... No, I'm going to stick with what I've got. Okay, so the day is carrying on, so I've got to go. Well, let's go out here. Goodbye. Oh, actually, what I, need, what I need <laughs> before I leave, I need to take these with me. Oh, well, yeah. I don't need to, but, you know. Yeah. Let's do this. Oops. This way. Okay. <laughs> uh, I could take the door with me as well. All right, you are now full up. We are gone. Okay. Bye-bye, little island hut. No, Interesting it's... that you can float even while wearing iron armor. Well, if I let go, I will sink. But <laughs> <laughs> I have to keep jumping. So there's our tower. I'm going to show you something I did just the other day that I think was smart of me because I die so easy. We're going to follow our compass back to spawn and I left a little surprise for us there. And then we're going to carry on our way. I hope before nightfall we're going to get to that second tower we made mm -hmm. before we fell down that hole. And I think I'm just going to make a tower again <laughs> uh, and last out the night. I, if I found, I think we worked out just before, if I find six spiders, I think, and if they all give me two string, then I think I might be able to make enough string to make enough wool to make a bed. 
Um, so I could do that. It's kind of gross, like yes, having leaping a bed on made spider webs. Spider webs. Yeah, yeah, sticky and blah. Well, yeah. Beggars can't be choosers. True. So here we have... This is how decadent I was feeling. This is our spawn ah, point right here. Yeah. So I left a crafting bench for me, and I also laid a little chest, and I just left a few things in there. <laughs> okay, so if you ever die again, then this is where yeah, you would come back well, to. Well, if you die and you... Where you sleep. Or like, okay, if you die, had you got a bed, and if you died, you would just respawn at the last place where yeah, you had your bed. Yeah, I think as long as you leave the bed there. Yeah. Then oh, okay. you are good. Then that means you have to keep finding spiders. Um, I'm going to put my diamond sword there. I don't actually need these. <laughs> <laughs> don't know why I kept that. Oh, I'm actually a bit hungry. So let's... So I'm going to get rid of this bed as well. Oh, and I need to activate the map. Gosh. Okay, let's eat the bread. Now, how do I... Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. Cool. So I think this... Yeah, okay. This is kind of weird. Okay. I, I don't... I don't... <laughs> we'll figure it out. Yeah. Okay, this is I mean, actually we're a bit still so confusing. close to spawn right now that uh, you know it doesn't matter. I guess. Yeah. Okay, well, let's get our sword out. A diamond sword. Mm -hmm. Never had a diamond sword. Now keep on the lookout for holes in the ground. <laughs> I mean, you were. I can't even. I don't even know what happened last time. I did replay that bit of the video. Yeah. Many times. And so, what happened to us? Uh, there was a hole. We fell down. <laughs> But it was just like a really steep hole. Plain and simple. Yeah, it was just a sheer, just like oh my a big hole in the ground. Okay, yeah. I'm going to try and climb up here because I yeah. want to. <laughs> well, the tower should be around us, right? Somewhere nearby? Yeah, it's got to be somewhere around here. Because, I mean, we had thought that traveling along the bottom of this canyon or ravine or whatever you want to call it was a good idea because it would keep us close to water, but maybe it is a better idea to travel along the top. I don't know. Yeah, I was just going to do what we were doing before, but maybe you're right. Hey, wait. <laughs> we just got in a circle. Exactly. Um. Maybe it's better to stay on the top part. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh dear. Okay. okay, we went. I'm determined to find that other pillar. That comment saying, "Oh, you know, you should go back and find your stuff, and it'll still be there." And someone, I think, inadvertently had a good idea of how to make sure I could get down that hole. I don't have a well. It'd take a long time to get enough wooden. Wait, is that it? Wait, what? Uh, huh? <laughs> okay, let's just get my bearings. That's the first one. This over. There is our second one. Okay, we're going the right way. Wow. Yeah, so if I had water in a bucket, I could just pour water down that big hole and I could just travel down relatively safely. Infinite water out of one bucket? Yeah, it flows down, it flows downwards, I think, until it hits something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think I've played with that on an extreme biome in, in this one. But the other thing someone said is that after like five minutes, any drops that happen from when you die disappear. Oh, so sad. So, yeah, so it may well be. Oh, look at that. That's pretty. So it may well be they just aren't there anymore. I think the hole is going to be around here somewhere. No, gosh. Don't fall down. Don't fall down. <laughs> Did we even get this? We must have got this. We must have gone that way, no? From yeah, here. I just honestly don't even... I'm, you know, I'll go with whatever you say. <laughs> I just honestly don't really know what happened to us that time. But yeah. anyway... Neither do I. Maybe our map would show us a ravine, but I don't know. I just think, yeah, there's greater visibility up top. You can see your enemies approaching. Yeah. And if you happen to need food from fishing, it's easy enough to get down to the bottom of the of yeah. the thing. So okay. Well, sun setting. Should we start making another sun tower? Sun setting. Yeah. I don't quite know which way. I guess we follow the ravine. Oh yeah. Right. Let's make a tower. <laughs> I'm just busy You've talking. You always get so distracted. I know. I'm sorry. Okay. Tower time. Wait, is the sand going to collapse under you? No, no. Sand is can support its own weight, okay. but you, it just doesn't float. Got it. Although I did do something a bit stupid. Because you want to make a little platform, don't you? I do, <laughs> uh, so that I can so that well, I can, can come put, down like, a safely. A clay thing on the top of the sand, and then make your platform out of clay. No, I'll I'll, I'll get it done. So we're going to come back <laughs> while it's daytime, and in that meantime, I'm going to sort out the. I don't go completely crazy. What, what's that over there? That's the lava. lava thing. No? Not the same No, way. that's further away. This is inland somewhere. Oh. Interesting. 
more lava or something. I These towers be remind me of that scene in Lord of the Rings where the you got all the beacons from the yeah, riders of Rohan. That's and stuff. true. I mean, there's now Wait, like lion absolutely tons of them. Look at all these. Look at all those. They're not spiders. waiting for me. Yeah. Yeah, they are. They smell your blood. They want you. Wait, I thought there were four spiders. I'm kidding. There are, there's there are there. four spiders and also a skeleton and creeper and zombie. In hunting parlance, you have been treed. You are stuck up a tree. I am. Yeah. While your enemies wait below. So many enemies. So one of the good things about building a cave, having a cave you can hide in when it's nighttime, is anything is going to spawn around you. It's going to spawn inside the cave. Things only spawn within a certain radius of you. Uh -huh. Like there's nothing spawning way back over there by that first one. So they're all just spawning around. Oh, there's an Enderman. That's an Enderman oh, right there. Oh, okay, okay. And that one's an Enderman. Oh, but wait. But don't look at, you can't look at them too closely. Why? Well, they can't really see me now, but if you look in their eyes, <gasps> it makes them angry and they go nuts. Um, they can also <laughs> teleport and they can take blocks. They can teleport? Like, yeah. could they teleport to the top of your sand tower? Yeah. And they could take blocks out of the bottom of your sand tower? Yeah. It would only fall by one block if they took a block. But they could do it like one by one. Yeah, they're not, they're not, they do it at random. They're not like... Um... Are they not smart? Well, no, they have their own thing. <laughs> They've got their own agenda, and <laughs> unless I mess unless I mess with them by looking at them, they're not interested in me. Whereas these ones are all violent and hostile. Except I think I presume Enderman. If you're in the end, I think then they become hostile to you. Mm. But yeah, well, we made it a bit further than I thought. I thought we were going to make it literally to there, but we went on the wrong little <laughs> crevice. This is why, yeah, I think that's my vote. Travel at the top so that you have more mm. visibility over what we're yeah. doing. Yeah, well, from that one we're doing cool, we could have got to this lava lake. Mm. But yeah, I guess I just want to go in roughly a line so, so I can at least see like, oh yeah, roughly that's where we came from. So if we come from this one, the next one would be like there, say. It would be cool if we could always see one. So you can say like, oh look, this is the way we came. Yeah, yeah. Interestingly, when I was playing before, I could see some creepers away on the mainland from my little island. But, you know, they had randomly spawned, I guess, because I was nearby. But then they just disappeared. Like, once daylight properly came. So maybe they don't hang around if I'm... Because that one just literally popped into existence, I think. I think maybe they just disappear if they don't... If I'm not nearby enough, they just, like, don't exist in the daytime. That's my hope. That's my dream. That's my legacy. Ah, that one fell into the water and it will never be able to get out. Never? Never. They can only jump one block, and they, same as me, but they can't destroy blocks. I could destroy what a block What if you could out. lure them into the water? Mm -hmm. I did that in another game. So you create like a moat, so they try to get to you and they fall into a moat, and you can actually have them fall into a, like a pit, or you can kill them peacefully. Mm. And we're back. The sun is thankfully blissfully rising over the horizon. <laughs> we have been surrounded all night. There were... Multiple creepers. Hey, wait, there was a creeper trapped there. Yeah, you just got done telling me that creepers could not leave the water. I think it just disappeared. I think it just, mm. you know, like evaporated out of existence. Mm. There were four spiders around here. Mm -hmm. One of them clambered off. You see the There's endermen just endermen. disappear out yep. of existence. So I'm going to wait for the skeletons to burn up, and then I'm going to start making my way down. And hopefully that will mean these creepers will just pop out of existence as well. I think one just did. And here oh, yeah, goes burning, man. So the good thing is, if they burn and I see them, they might leave stuff. They might drop things. Oh. Should you go ahead and start trying to get down? Yeah, I'm a bit worried about that creeper, but I've got my diamond sword at the ready. There you do. Yes, yeah, so we've agreed we're going to try and stay up here. Up here meaning the top of the land, yeah. not the bottom of the land. All right. Yay, you get things. More things. I'm going to have to dispatch this creeper. First time with the diamond sword. Let's see what happens. Oh, it still takes more than one hit. Wow. 
Okay, so oh, that... Oh, cool. Wait, there's another thing. Where? That. Yeah. They mean another, another beastie. Oh, no, sorry. So we, okay. <laughs> we have a tool tower. Diamond sword. I don't know. I was hoping it would be stronger at killing things it more was, quickly. It was two. Maybe... Yeah, but two then exploded itself, so it would have taken me three. So, well, it may have been a bit of a waste of diamonds, but I experimented nonetheless. How many oh. diamonds would you say it would take to make a full suit of armor? A full suit of armor is 18. Oh, 18 but you can also blocks. just make parts. Yeah, I think the full set, though, has more abilities. Sure, of course, of course. But now, Where's our most recent pokey thing? You can see it through the trees. Okay. It's okay. Yeah, so somewhere down here is where we found... Uh, okay, let's just not think about that. Yeah, it's too far not. away. <laughs> and also, it's just... is a. I mean, these cliffs are really sheer of this canyon. And we all know about your tendency to, to fall. Yeah. yeah, so I'm still with heading away from spawn, which is good. I mean... Though this mesa biome has been beautiful, I would not mind if we went to a different biome. With sheep. <laughs> so we can with sheep, with dogs, of... with a horse, because I've got that saddle. I want to yeah. put it to good use. But no, it this looks, looks like... like we're moving into more mesa biome. Yeah. I, I said before we started the seed, I didn't have a fly around, and it's just like, okay, I just see a lot of mesa. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, looks, uh, you know, there's water still, as long as we... Yeah, so it looks like in. we're hugging an ocean or something. Okay, we've got... Yeah. Okay, I'm going to go this way. Can we see any of our tall pillars again? No, um, so. Maybe our plan to continue seeing the tall pillars is a bit optimistic, says yeah. the pessimist. <laughs> well, I could build one here. Do you want to build another one? But you basically, you only want to really see the towers from other towers. Yeah. I you guess. don't need to see it from ground level. We want to be able to see where they are so you know where to go. Well, I thought that was what your compass and map were for. That's true. Although the map, I need to, I need to practice using that map. A tower of sand that will not blow away. Yeah. Have we lost it? <laughs> uh, it's, oh, uh, well. Good in theory. I guess it depends what we do with the rest. Like if we do start going in weird directions, like right now we're going in a pretty kind of constant direction. Okay, I need to eat something. If I, my bread I have. Um, a fish. Mm -hmm. Right. Where to go? Oh no! I mean, we either head down into the valley or we just stay on top on this plane. There's a big cave down there, which looks kind of cool. Mm. But I don't know. This is this could be the longest I've gone in the open without dying. So, <laughs> ooh, don't say that. Okay, that looks ooh interesting, <laughs> but not interesting enough I to don't explore. Know. I don't want to die. <laughs> I want to get somewhere. I agree. I want to live my life. <laughs> okay, so things look... Wow. Okay, things are definitely changing. Yeah. The topography is definitely different here. I don't know. It'd be cool to get down. I don't know. Do you want to go up that way or sure. that way? Yeah, it looks like there's more land to the right across the water. So if we could cross the water, probably that would be better in the long run. Okay. Grass is always greener on the other side of the river, so... <laughs> yeah, so it's time to cross. <laughs> I think you be very careful I'm about so this. I'm so being very ginger. Being very ginger? I'm gingerly making my way down. Yes. Because I'm normally very stupid. Okay, there's a... See, I'd like to go maybe this way. What's the difference if you use your fist versus using a block of sand? Uh, I don't know, actually. It's what probably... is that? Is that like a little cactus thing? That's just a dead tree. No. The, the... That's a cactus. Yeah. Yeah. Which will hurt me if I touch them. Oh, okay. 
I don't know if they could be useful. No. Okay, let's... We're going up there, aren't we? Yeah. Oh, crumbs. It's so easy to get lost from this perspective. I know. Okay, let's just carve out some steps for us. It's cool to go all these different colours. I do like that in this biome. You have long arms. <laughs> yeah. But technically you're only like the height of a block, right? Or something? Um, no, I think I might be too high. Mm -hmm. Two blocks high. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Woohoo, we made it. To another... Wait, I think I saw a tower. Did you go to the left? Ooh, Yay! Feels like home. It's calling to me. <laughs> We've come a long way, baby. Yeah. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> We've come longer than we thought we were going to originally. Like, I thought you only wanted to get to, like, the second tower and then... Yeah, you know, I thought... A day. Yeah, so we've done pretty well. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to make a little tower relatively soon. I'm just going to see what's on the other side of this blob. Rendering. Ooh. Okay, we're still basically heading away from spawn directly. <sighs> oh, pretty. <laughs> Look at that. That sort of right below us, this kind of weird formation. Here. I know. I don't even know if this might be a different biome because, or maybe it's a different type of mesa biome. Really? And then do we go, maybe we go this way. It looks like this sort of Grand Canyon cliff stuff is coming to a bit of an end. So we're going to make a little tower <laughs> and then we will end this video and then join us again next time where we'll do some more exploring and hopefully, hopefully at long last, get to the end of the mesobiome. And into more uh, green country. Yeah, that would be nice. I mean, if we're faced... Can settle. <laughs> yeah, I mean, at least like, at least if we can start finding somewhere we can settle, that would be nice. Or at least finding somewhere that's an option. This, as beautiful as it is, is still not an option. Cool. Okay. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode of our Minecraft Let's Play in the Mesa Biome. Please let us know in the comments what you think. And if you're new to our channel, feel free to subscribe because we've got plenty more Minecraft videos on the way. Thanks for watching.